Hello friends. This is an update on the development of the prototype for the Decentraland Conference Center. Uh, this is a sandbox prototype on some private land and uh, it's coming along nicely. Uh, we've worked out the texture problems and we have gotten the modular office buildings which you can see over here on the left um, starting to be built out uh, from the modules that EO made from us for us. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen this tour, I'm going to give you the walkthrough, but we'll start with the, the office buildings. But I wanted to kind of come in here and show you what they look like here from the inside and um, how nice they look when you come around over to the little piece of forest here and uh, look back at them. And they're looking really quite nice and uh, you can see the bird flying around and they have um, uh, some of the new glass we've been making um, which is as you can see it's uh, slightly tinted uh, a little bit of a bluish gray and uh, it also has reflections so if you get just right here you can actually see the sun reflected in the glass so um, it's glass. It also has a collider on it, so you can't go through it. Um, but you can go in the space and look around. This is actually four modules stuck together, four corners. Um, they were originally made uh, 10 by 10 meters, um, and they happen to have worked just fine, reduced to 0.8, I mean to 8 meters. So um, four of them go together in a parcel. Uh, occupying uh, about 6,000 um, triangles for uh, a two-story building like this, of which the second story, as you can see, is two stories tall. Um, has a stairway going up onto the roof. Um, we will soon put protecting protective railings on so you won't fall through like I just demonstrated. But um, you can go out the back door and into the conference center and um, very nice. Nice work, Eel. And uh, if you haven't seen the, the coffee, uh, the cafe, there's a patio out in front of it here with uh, plenty of space to put out some chairs and tables or have a, a party out here or something. And um, the uh, little stage here would be uh, suitable for a musician to play or open mic or a speaker. Um, we have uh, various pieces of furniture that we can spread around. And over here we have a, a little barista counter with a stool we can duplicate and put around uh, various places. Um, we can take a look at the amphitheater. I usually go up the stairs, but today I'm just going to show you that you can go right up the wall here and up the hill and see it from the top. And if you come down inside, you're in a walkway that's behind the inner hill and um, you can come down and see that there are concentric half circles of seating or standing. Some very lovely trees that um, Cyber Mike made together with this amphitheater, one of which has a face on it. It's part of some uh, lore, a story that goes with this amphitheater. And uh, as you come down here you see kind of a Greek amphitheater stage with a Celtic touch that has interesting patterns worked into the stone and a very nice um, place to which to have a play or give a talk or um, have a party and uh, there's um, uh, kind of uh, some characters worked into the back wall here and the, on the doors behind the vines um, and uh, down here is a door that um, will eventually be hooked up to be animated so that uh, um, one could go back into a green room um, and uh, say friend and enter. Ah, not today. Okay, so uh, the other thing to see here today would be the uh, 
the Lotus Temple, which um, is a simplified replica of the Baha'i Lotus Temple in New Delhi, India. Uh, it's nine-sided petaled flower, and um, the uh, sky can be seen through the gap up at the top. It's a nine-pointed star. It's quite lovely. And um, uh, oh, that's it. So thank you for uh, joining me on this tour today. And I hope you enjoyed it and see how much progress we're making with the conference center. Thank you and uh, have a good day.